Hey guys, so this is the new Gucci Marmont mini bag and I really, really love how small and dainty this little thing is. It's so cute. It's in this new color for um, summer called um, pastel pink. One thing I want to mention also, which you can probably see in the video, is the GG is this really shiny silver hardware. But the chain is actually kind of like this gunmetal, like, I don't know, like almost aged hardware. I'm not really sure what's going on here, if that's purposeful or not. Um, but it is a little weird. Maybe that this, this gunmetal style will wear a little better than shiny silver like that, I want to think. But it's kind of strange. We're gonna see what can fit inside of it. Um, hopefully this will give everybody a kind of a good idea of what will fit inside. Um, it is really small compared, like if you look at it compared to my hand, it's, it is quite a small size bag. So I want to show like what can really fit in here in terms of essentials and whatnot. So I have two phones on me. Um, generally, I just have two phones, one that's my personal and one that's my work phone. And this is, my personal phone is the iPhone 11 Pro Max and my work phone is the iPhone 11 Pro. And these are really two different size phones. So I just kind of wanted to give um, you guys a look at how much capacity it takes for these phones because they are such different sizes. Obviously the Max is really big. <laughs> it is kind of huge and I kind of hate it sometimes but um, I'll show you guys how it fits. Okay so I'm gonna put my phone in here and with just my phone in that's how it looks on the inside. Um, I forgot to mention that there is a uh, little slit, two little slits for card holder. Um, I generally like to carry more than one card or two cards with me, but um, it's perfect for just like my ID and my debit card if that's all I needed to take around. I'm going to put um, a card holder. I just have this one I've had for a long time. Um, from Herschel so I put that in the back so it's a little dark so it's kind of hard to see but um, in terms of essentials honestly it's such a small bag this is not a bag I take for long trips or anything but um, here I'll have a hand sanitizer my airpods And with that, I still have plenty of room. I have um, a lip balm here. This is from Glow Recipe. Really love this lip balm. I'm just kind of put it inside like that. And then I'll put my keys in there. Which I do have a lot of keychains. It's just kind of a habit for me. And my keys will fit in there and that will go in last. And let's see if it zips up. And it zips up. And it looks perfect. So um, that's all that will really go in here. Um, it's not a super lot of stuff, but it's, you know, a good decent amount of stuff. So I'll show you guys maybe like a couple of different things you can put in here. So this time I'll use my, oops. This time I'll use the um, smaller iPhone. So it's definitely a lot smaller. Takes up a lot less space. I'm gonna assume, um, let's just pretend that there's cards in the back. Um, 
so if you put cards in the back you obviously have a lot of space um let's just say this one is a bigger thing i have this little compact camera here um it's actually a um it prints out your mobile phone photos so let's just say you're going to like a festival or something where you're going out to um like somewhere where you want to take photos and like memories and have memories and stuff so let's just say that's something like that equivalent of this could be uh, a small size notebook so something like this and let's just say i'll bring my lip gloss still compact if you're out and about i'll have to go down a little bit this compact's a little bigger but and let's say let's just put the hand sanitizer in since i feel like everybody is kind of carrying that these days so there's only a little bit of room on the top but there is still some room for keys um shim my keys my keys are not very easy to take off but let's just say if you have just your key fob, like I have a really small key fob obviously, but you can just kind of stick that in there and that will fit just fine. Um, and I zip it up, a little more oddly shaped. I personally don't like it when it fits weird, so I would try not to put too much in the bag to um, make it fit that way. And lastly, I'm going to show you guys how I actually carry or use this bag. Um, I'm, I usually just use this like for literally store runs and um, short trips and stuff like that. And what I actually bring is I always unfortunately have to bring both my phones just because I have to have my work phone with me. So putting both, and if you are in the same boat, then putting both phones is fine. It just makes the bag really heavy. I always do want to carry a card holder or something because I need multiple cards. Or um, sometimes I'll have like oh, rewards cards or something if I'm going to uh, like a mall or a store, a particular store. Not that any malls are open right now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so put that in the back. Always carry a Sani. Always carry my lip thingy and just hassle-free i always do carry my keys the whole thing a lot of keys and i don't like removing them so <laughs> this is kind of a real world example here and everything fits it's just tight again i know my key chains take up a lot of space so if you're smarter about it than me um you'll have a lot more space and that's it and I try to rearrange it a little bit so that it's not so misshapen. Um, the leather's really soft on this bag, so it feels really nice to just kind of hold. The um, thing I love about this size, and I believe this is the exact same dimensions as the mini, the mini Marmont, uh, the one that's more horizontal that has like the flap that looks like the um, small version of the bigger bag. Um, I believe this is the exact same dimensions. It's very, very tiny and it fits in your hand like perfectly. So I actually sometimes just like carrying this around I me. Mean, I know that this is a vertical style bag, but um, I just kind of like carrying it around like this and holding it like this. It's really not a big deal. It holds everything I need and um, kind of acts as like a little clutch. You can't take the chains off. So that's unfortunate. But, I think it's definitely um, fine to cut the chain in the bag, because this is exactly what I usually do. So what I do is I put the chain in the bag, I leave a little room of the chain out where it's not touching the zippers, if that makes sense. Because obviously you can't close it if the chain's touching the zipper. So what I do is I just kind of tuck the chains in as much as I can. And I actually do wear it like this. I use it like this all the time. And it's just like a little, this little 
handle. Obviously, it's too heavy, um, so I don't actually just hold it by this because it will come out of it will come out of the zipper. But I just like having it as um, like a little clutch is my point <laughs> because you can't take the chain handle off. But if you wanted to use it as just like a little clutch where you can just hold it onto you, um, it works perfect like this. I think it just kind of gives it a little a little look, a little edge. Um, so yeah. And I really do enjoy this bag. I do have, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I do have the bigger version of this. Again, this is from the Summer Pastel Collection line. If you'll focus. Um, so I do have the, um, the small camera style bag, which looks like this. Oops. These are both from the new Summer Collection. So this is the camera style bag compared to the mini. Quite small. I think the colors are really cool. It's very, very pink. Um, definitely more pink than the light pink from the original Gucci Marmont line with um, the gold, the brush gold hardware, which I think is a very beautiful pastel light light pink um however i'm more of like a pop of color gal so i do like that it's a little bit more of a barbie pink if anything but thanks again guys for watching the review for this um gucci mini and if you guys have any questions um leave it in the comments below and thanks for watching bye